Hello and welcome to a medieval engineers. And this is my first trial at a twistable fortification for the top of a castle ideally, but at the moment I am working on ground level just because I can't be bothered making a massive castle and then putting this on top. Right. So what we've got is we've got a pulley there hooked up. You've got three or four connection points here where you can connect it. One on the other side, twist it in the opposite direction. It's actually a three man to minimum two man operation this, really. But anyway, yeah. So you've got a catapult, it's got three balls. So what we'll do is we'll hook it up, see? And we'll do that one. See? Got a couple of different choices there for different ranges. Right, let's wind it in. Right, I've weighted the bottom of this catapult there with those big weights. And that basically stops it rebounding when it hits the bar at the top. So you don't get a kind of weird elasticated effect where it just keeps jiggling forward and backwards. So, anyway, here we go. Wind it down a bit. There we go. Right, just for a bit of authentic authenticity. Uh, we have to walk up here to load it. Seven, yep, yeah, there we go. Oops. Oh, come on, don't, don't be at it. There we go. This one's a bit trickier. But first shot. Right, basketball stars. Right, so we go down here. Right, it's got a lot of playing, unfortunately. Check. I think we're, I think we're good there. So let's give it a go. Launch. And oh, we've we've hit, definitely hit it there. Let's go into spectator flyby mode and go and have a look. So this is a full size wall. And yeah, that's done some damage. So I mean, if it can do that to a, a giant wall like that, it's going to do. A fair amount of damage to a catapult or something that's within range, or anybody that's setting up any fortifications from a distance. Uh, let's give it a go to this, see if we can aim it at the other one. Oops, ah. uh, I've just noticed that's very poorly done, I need to step there, but there we go. Kind of a thing. Uh, so. I need to turn it that way. I'm pretty sure if these were slightly further away I'd have less problems with this. I so say it's more a two man operation, this catapult. Right, that's better. I think that's too far over, isn't it? That is, bugger. Let's uh, do that, and then do that. Just a touch. No, we're not going to work, are we? We come a, no, it's come disaligned. Damn. Okay, let's try again. Two. No, it's coming away. Oh well, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can hit it. As I said, this is version one. <laughs> it's, uh, I think we're going to be miles off. But we'll give it a go and see how we go. So we'll wind this down. I think this is going to need some more refinement. There we are. We're at peak efficiency there. Seven, I'm on seven. Good. Oh, yeah. Can I get this last one? 
little bit more difficult to aim that one. And release. Yeah, we're, we're a touch. You can see the range. That's a nice thing. What we'll do is... We'll extend that wall. <laughs> Just to see how well it hits stuff. Because we all like a bit of destruction now and again. Let's fly upwards. Right. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Fabulous. Okay. Right, let's try again. As I say, it's work in progress. It was working fine a minute ago, it's now dying. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's land. Are we landed? I can't know. We're, we're, we're hovering again. There we go. Fly mode off. So, we've got. Try that. Higher range mode. I'm not entirely sure we need the higher range, but it'll be a giggle. I don't know if it'll do higher range anyway, because I've put this, as I've put this walkway in, on purpose to limit the amount of force you could get on it. I think I'm still going to miss here. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Anyway, reloading. There we go, perfect. Repping, firing. No, I'm just pressing the wrong button, idiot. Oh, I've killed it! No! What happened? Too much force on the on the swing going from that top one. That's what that was. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's go check the wall, see how much damage we did. Well, it's gone straight through. If I can get the mechanism worked out better, it might be better, I would have guess. Well, it will be. I mean, I've just got to work out how to get this to turn. I've got, as you can see, I've got these on this side. But it might be more advantageous to say put one, well, I've got that one there. If I hook that to that, that'll swing it round the other way. Let's have a look. Oops. Right. There we go. Rotates it. So it does. The rotation will work. Uh, the catapult, however. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have uh, overcooked it slightly. I should have stayed. If you stay on that one rather than that one, it's going to work. But anyway, there we go. So that's my movable catapult for a top of a wall, version one. It will be getting refined at some point. But thanks for watching.